All right, it's sand leveling day. The boys are here. Oh, we're going yeah. to the beach. <laughs> we're, we're here, we're here. Oh, look at that. Theo, you at the beach? Are you at the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So cold. Theo. See if it works. Theo, you think it's gonna work? Yeah? My prediction, no. Uh-oh. Open it up all the way, though. Right? <laughs> like, Look at a, that. like a dream. You shake it, like, really hard, does it work? <laughs> no, nothing's coming out of that. Will it spread episode one? Sand. Will not spread! Alright, we got these piles everywhere. I'm gonna have to get that leveling drag out pretty soon. We'll see how that works. I'm kind of excited about it. We'll see what kind of makes the... Huh? What the? Uh, you mind if I play through? Uh, sure. At about 45 to the green over there. So as you can see, we're out of gas. So this is six tons of sand, and that is roughly four-ish yards. So a yard per thousand square feet is what you need for sand leveling. Anyway, that's like the ballpark that you find on thelawnforum.com. Um, it's really helpful, actually. There's a whole section on thelawnforum.com that is um, all about sand leveling, people showing their projects and how to do it and all this sort of stuff. So it's, it's actually awesome. You need to check that out if you're thinking about sand leveling. Um, so basically, we aerated and we're going to put the sand out to level everything but also to yeah. fill those holes yeah. oh, okay and fill those holes to get the sand down into the root system to where the lawn will be perfectly flat and also easier to keep nutrients and water there interesting on the cost of sand it is like 10 bucks per ton if you go pick it up if you want to get it delivered i got numbers anywhere from 20. Well, now what are you going to do? You going to get another one? Yeah. <laughs> I got numbers anywhere from like $23 to 
per ton delivered all the way up to $50 per ton. So all these people are middlemen, they're buying it from the supplier. So if you go straight to the source, uh, which was like an hour and a half away from me, um, that's where you can get it for like 10 bucks per ton. I do. So we sent a buddy down, he was going down there anyway. Um, he went down there and drove like an hour and a half, but was going down there for another job that he was doing. He was gonna pick up sand on the way and he picked up the sand, got all six tons in the dump trailer. But halfway back home, we got this picture. Yeah, he had a blowout on the trailer and also just had to like sit there forever until one of our other buddies could go down there and take his big jack and get the trailer lifted up so they get the spare tire on there. Um, probably all together, it's gonna end up costing me about the same as if I would've just gotten it delivered uh, because I'm gonna take him out to dinner or something and try to make up for it. Plus the cost of the tire, that's not, not fun stuff. So, um, I think next time, cause this is gonna do my front yard. I still have to do all my backyard, which is way bigger but about 20 tons is what it's going to take to do the backyard and Sweet Oak Hollow. So if I get that delivered with a dump truck, I'll just have them dump it in my driveway and do the, the normal thing instead of trying to hassle with picking it up on our own. Sand leveling. Um, leveling my yard. I mean, it's just mostly not horrible as far as, you know, being unleveled, but my yard has a bunch of tiny little dips in it. So these little, like, little tiny ridges. Um, I think that's just how uneven the sod was when they unrolled it. Um, and I did a little bit of leveling when we first moved in. I put some, you know, topsoil in places and leveled it spot leveled here and there. But this is like the biggest leveling project that I've done. Front yard's about 5,000 square feet, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, but the back, so total, I'm at like 16,000. So I guess I've got 11,000 left to go. So I need 11 yards more of sand. Plus Sweet Oak Hollow is almost a thousand square feet. Um, so anyway, I've just got a lot more work left to do as far as sand leveling goes. And that's that's a big project. I think we're gonna have to bring in the heavy machinery for that. I want to wait until I can get that dump truck back right up into the field, into my backyard, dump it there. Um, I mean, I don't know, get like a bunch of people to come help me or something, because it's it's a big deal. Now, the, the um, leveling drag that I built will be much easier to use in the backyard. So that's that's one thing. The front yard was just too small to like really drive around perfectly. You had to just basically go in circles. So that will be an advantage, um, having a bigger space that I'm leveling. So I guess pros and cons, um, but it's just going to be a lot of sand moving. I'll just get a you know, couple friends and come out and buy them pizza. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to find any friends that are going to want to help me. But anyway, um, yeah, I've just got another whole leveling project to do. So look forward to that. I think I'm going to do that after my french drain i need to put a french drain in all the way around it's pretty dry right now actually and so if we can get that done pretty soon that would be ideal and then i can put sand and level it actually over the area where we dig for the french drain so that would be kind of cool um if the timing works out that's all you know scheduling and weather never really works perfectly um it'll rain or it'll be too dry or it'll be whatever um it, you know exactly when you're wanting to plan to do it because when you have the weekend to work on stuff the weather has to cooperate just right so we'll see um that's that's the plans though Pretty soon, going to be mowing Sweet Oak Hollow down to golfing height. That'll be fun, getting some tee boxes going so we can start playing on that. So then we put down some fertilizer. Left Tool was kind enough to do that for me. Got the spreader out and spread some fertilizer around on top of the sand. And then we turned the sprinklers on and watered like crazy. We switched around from all different directions, moved the sprinkler all over the place and just watered a ton over the next few days. So uh, hopefully we start to see some results pretty soon of the grass popping up through that sand. you're needing I need a thumbnail